It's Friday morning, Glads. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Hannah Hall. And this is your KWHS News. Seniors, the countdown is officially in single digits today, and we know how eager you are to get out of this place. Be sure to take care of any conditions and fees this week or next. Those of you who choose to wait to the last minute to clear your checklist must like waiting in lines because this one could be extra long. Take care of these fees now and turn in your checklist so you can be free sooner. Remember to return your library materials, pay your lunch fees, and see Ms. Grandizio in the business office to clear any other conditions and fees. Underclassmen, we also want to get a head start on clearing conditions and fees before the end of the year so we can get our grades on time and get the summer started. The deadline to return library materials is next Thursday, May 10th. See Ms. Grandizio to get your conditions and fees paid early and avoid the long lines on the last day. Students, locker assignments are not automatic for upperclassmen. If you want a locker next year, see your advisory teacher to sign up for a locker. You must have a partner, so put both names on the sign-up sheet. If you don't want a locker this time, you don't have to do anything. But when August rolls around and you do find that you need a locker, see Ms. Price in the office. She'll help you out. And speaking of lockers, all lockers will need to be cleaned and signed off before you leave in May. Seniors, you're up first, so get your box or bag ready and take your stuff home, or better yet, recycle it. The Environmental Club will take your new or gently used pens, pencils, binders, and notebooks. See Mr. Cummings in room 204 to drop off your school supplies. And now, let's head to the cafeteria and see what Miss Betsy has cooking for lunch. Happy Friday, everybody. Today we're having mandarin chicken. I know you love it. Come on down, there'll be plenty. And then on Monday, it's a chicken sandwich. Days are counting down, we need to get these charges paid. Seniors, if you got money on your account, come see me so I can get it back to you before you graduate. Have a great one, see you then, bye-bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, just like conditions and fees, if you owe money in the cafeteria, you should clear this too before graduation or final exams. Seniors, if you have extra money in your lunch account, Miss Betsy can process a refund for you, but don't wait until the last minute. Glads, want a chance to earn some volunteer hours and help out our community? FCCLA will have a road cleanup next week on Tuesday, May 8th, after school from 3 to 4.30 p.m. Sign up with Miss Ship in room 202 or Miss Tucci in room 163. Seniors, listen up. Mark your calendars with the following important dates. May 14th, senior finals for periods five, six and seven may 15th senior finals for periods one two three and four may 16th senior awards night at 6 p.m in the whs auditorium may 17th senior breakfast at the cheyenne mountain resort at 7 15. tickets are 22 dollars in the business office you cannot buy them at the door do you have goosebumps yet we do may 18th mandatory graduation practice at noon in bowers gym don't miss it and of course saturday may 19th is your big day showtime is 7 30 in the small gym please be on time and ensure your family members have their tickets when we come back we'll have information for other events happening this week. But first, here's Jeremiah Jones with our Gladiator Sports Update. It's Friday morning, Glads, and I'm Jeremiah Jones with your Gladiator Sports Update. Gentlemen, if you missed the meeting for men's basketball on Monday, please check in with Coach Munoz in room 207 for the details. Also, our new men's basketball coach, Coach Johnson, started open gyms for basketball yesterday. They happen every Tuesday and Thursday in Bowers Gym from 6 to 8 p.m. If you are interested in joining the team, you should stop by to sharpen your skills. Hey ladies, volleyball open gyms will run until May 16th from 3.15 to 4.15. Starting on June 5th, times and days will change to Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8 to 10 a.m. in Bowers. Check in with Miss Lacey in room 105 for details and information. Gentlemen interested in playing tennis next fall, Mr. Portugal is having an informational meeting in room 122 in the science hallway at lunch on Wednesday, May 9th. No prior experience is required. Come hear how the team is going to prepare for a successful 2018 season. If you cannot attend, see Coach Portugal for details. And speaking of tennis, our Lady Glads tennis team is headed into regionals again today at Cheyenne Mountain High School starting at 9 a.m. We'd like to wish our players good luck and good weather. Our boys swim and dive team dipped into the pool for the last time this season on Thursday afternoon against Pueblo South. This year's team was very young, but managed to conquer some big obstacles and clocked in some great personal records throughout their season. The team is headed to league championships next week, and we wish them good luck and warm waters. Congratulations to our Glads baseball team. The boys in blue traveled down to the purple school yesterday afternoon and took a big bite out of the Grizzlies. Look for the boys to keep their streak alive at 10 a.m. on Saturday at the Mitchell Diamond. Our Glads expect to Cinco the Marauders. The track team is splitting duties this weekend as part of the team is traveling to Dutch Clark Stadium in Pueblo, while the other half travels to Canyon City for the Blossom Invite. Good luck to them all. The weather should be great on Saturday. And now, here's Doc with our health tip of the week. Hey guys, 
guys, it's Doc with your health tip of the week. So this week we're talking about physical activity. Yes, I know we talk about this a lot, but it's really important. So we're going to specifically talk about walking. So walking counts as physical activity. The number of steps you get in a day add up over time. They say that we need at least 10,000 steps a day to stay heart healthy and stay in good physical shape. Well, 10,000 steps, that equals about two and a half miles. We're not having to get all these steps all at once. That's walking from class, walking to the bathroom, walking home, walking around your house. The more you walk, the better heart health you're going to have. So, get out, get your steps. The weather's getting warm, so you can get more and more. Thanks, Doc. We'll try to step up our game. Join Doc next week when she'll talk about how to handle stress during finals week. That's it for our Gladiator Sports Update. Good luck to our athletes this weekend. I'm Jeremiah Jones. Now back to you, Corinne and Hannah. Thanks, Jeremiah. Glads. If you are struggling with a class, paper, or have a big test coming up, check out the Thursday tutoring sessions brought to you by NHS. Stop by the Media Center to pick up your pass on Thursday morning, then come back during advisory for your session. Computers will be available for you. Next Friday is yearbook distribution day. You can still buy your yearbook for $65, but if you wait until Friday, May 11th, books will be $70 cash only. Seniors, if you haven't purchased your yearbook, you can get this year's book plus another one from your freshman, sophomore, or junior year for only $80. It's a pretty sweet deal. And you should totally see Miss Grandizio in the business office to buy your yearbook today. Today is the last day to check out the High School Artist Showcase at the UMB Bank on Security Boulevard. The artwork will be on display until the close of business. Students, if you drop the ball on your courses this semester, you can still make up the credits to get back on track. Register by May 31st to begin your credit recovery classes on June 4th. You can take up to two classes for $100 each. See your counselor for details and go online to register. Student Cabinet Elections are coming up. If you are interested in running for student cabinet or class council, pick up a petition from Miss Melton in room 103. Petitions are due next Wednesday, May 9th. See Miss Melton for more details and information. If you are 17 years or older and looking for a job this summer, the Penrose and Sand Creek Libraries are holding a part-time job fair on May 9th and 10th. See Mr. Washington in room 115 for additional information. And finally, Glads. The end of the school year is a tough time for many students and saying those goodbyes can mess with the strongest of us. We want you to know that you are not alone, but more importantly, we want you to know that there's someone here to help you. Here's a reminder of the resource available to us all now and over the summer. Wedgefield High School is now serving as the pilot school for a new confidential hotline for teens called Below the Surface Texting Service. This service is a mental health campaign for any student that is struggling mentally or physically. This hotline provides a professional counselor you can talk to. They provide help 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Text the word TALK to 38255 to speak to a counselor today. Remember to text TALK to 38255 and someone will be there for you. We also wanted to let you know that May is Mental Health Awareness Month and next Thursday, May 10th, is Mental Health Awareness Day. To bring awareness and to help break the stigma of mental health issues, please wear green on Thursday. The National Alliance on Mental Illness selected hashtag Cure Stigma as this year's theme. We hope you join in on Thursday by wearing green. We all struggle sometimes, but help is just a short text away to keep our mental health strong and safe over the summer month. That's all for our news today. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Hannah Hall. And this is your KWHS News. Have a great weekend. Ooh, Ruffy Amadeus! Ruffy Amadeus! Ruffy Amadeus!